So now speaking about you living in GA yeah. and speaking about fear, right? Which mm-hmm. is probably something that everybody's going through right now with elections or maybe right even anxiety, right? Anxiety, yeah. And right. you living in GA, which is probably what uh, did they did they count their votes yet already? Nah, right? They They're gonna recount, oh, recount, oh, recount, bro. Recount, right? Another so it, it it was going in Trump's favor, and then somehow it just started switching over to the Biden, right? It switched. Oh, it switched. Okay. Yeah. And then yeah, and guess, then a lot of yeah, people yeah. having anxiety and they're having fear, right? Because they want a certain individual to win, right? Whether it's Trump or Biden or whoever it may be. Yeah, well, you see so, it on both sides for sure. So what are you guys feeling about this whole voting results, the fraud, the claims of fraud and stuff like that? What y'all want to go? Not everybody all at once. I mean, I, I, I don't mind. So me, I think I'm gonna be real. I think it's good people as far as civilians go. It, well, nobody's good, but I think there's some decent people on both sides, right? I think that the fact that we all have Christ as a mediator between us and the Father, some people pick up on things that others may not, and some people pick up on things that vice versa that others may not. I think when it comes to the voting, I'ma be transparent. It's not that I'm trying to favor for one side or the other. Yeah, I believe one side will carry out things probably a little better. That's crazy. I had I had my thing on do not disturb, which is happening. <laughs> it's all good, man. Keep going, man. It's on do not disturb, but somebody called me. <laughs> Maybe it's on your favorites you, or something. Oh yeah, That's favorites. Crazy. It comes through when they're on your don't favorites. Do it, don't say it. No, but look. So I think that uh, with the polls, I have been seeing some funny stuff going on. Right. Now, whether who that they cheating for, or whatever, I don't know. One thing I will say though, as bad as it may sound, man. I don't think that I'm not the regular, you know, you got all the Christians going hard for Trump. You got uh, the others going hard for Biden. I do believe that Trump, regardless of how he became president or whatever, I don't think Trump is your your, your typical politician. Agreed. I don't think Trump right. is a guy that's going to go by the rules. Right. Hmm. And he's from New York. Yes. Again, I'm a big girl. So this is not me saying like, yeah, I'm for Trump. I'm just for whatever my spirit radar leads. Like I tell people, if I ever see Trump don't Trump do a lot of stuff that's not likable. So that's why I also like even speak with my wife earlier. Like you can't get mad if somebody feel like, yeah, all right, I'm not for abortion. I'm not for these things, but anything to get this guy out of office. You still mm-hmm. got to empathize with that because these same people, you can't throw the Jesus label around that mm-hmm. heavy. Jesus is not common. You feel me? Although we right. know God is totally in the business of allowing people to carry out things who are just willing to do it. You don't even have to know him a lot of the times. He chooses the ones who don't know him. But um, I just think that they will, they're they going to try anything in their will. And no, this is not me saying, yo, I can't take it. Trump lose. If he lose, he lose. I know who's king. Like, who's right. king? Regardless. Right. The God I the serve. King, king it, right? <laughs> yeah, the God I serve will make a demon do a good deed. Not that, and don't misconstrue it. I'm just saying all powers are must submit to God. Right. There's no right. power aside from God. Yes, there's evils in the world, but God always used it for his grand scheme of things. Not that it's a scheme, but you get what I'm saying. Right, so right, right. I just feel that it's a big risk letting Trump back in office and them carrying out whatever new world possibilities of a new world order, which is already here. But I think they're playing a big Russian roulette, letting Trump get in office and they don't have to. We don't even got to deal with this guy, to be honest. Let's just do what we got to do. Um, so not on the conspiracy tip, bro. I just seen too much. I'm not a guy who watches the news, right? I, and how I feel, all the news we get on both parties, it's all coming from third parties. You Thanks. don't know these guys personally. Thanks. So we can let that out the hat now. Like, I don't care who says what. You see who there says this. But you can go by people's actions. 
Christ did say he's not coming until everybody hears the gospel. And you got one side saying, and you can't fault them for it because we don't fight against flesh and blood. We are all empty vessels, depending on who you're going to be a vessel for. That's on you and however your upbringing or wherever you at with it. But I can't condemn you for that because even for you to come to Christ, it has to be on God. You can't do it on your own. You can't repent on your own. You, you can. You have the will to. But one waters, one plants. One gives the increase, which is God. You know what I'm saying? Right. So right. for you to even say, yeah, I believe Christ is my Lord and Savior. That wasn't done on your own will. You know what I'm saying? So I just I've seen too much on one side that says we don't need God. And, um, you know, we just want to live the happiest life ever. You know, you got one person yeah. that says happiness. That's what life is about. You should be happy no matter what. And then right. you got another side that says you should be happy, but not if that happiness opposes the things that got up. You know what I'm saying? Both sides, nobody's perfect though. But yeah. as far as like the things I've seen come out of people's mouths, <laughs> it wasn't hard for me to lean where I was leaning. So, so you think there's fraud going on right now, like with the vote? Again, I, they said they was going to investigate that. I know yeah. I see videos of people stamping papers and bubbling in, bubbling in, bubbling in. I saw another video of a dude going to a uh, to fill out the poll, and before he got in, they was giving out yellow pieces of paper of examples of how yeah. to fill it. But when you look at the paper for the example, it was filled in for Biden. Bruh. So it's almost like, yeah. I didn't so see that. And, and again, though, again, <laughs> right. though, that like the examples, we can't say that's cheating, not for nothing. He just got a good team that's going to be mm -hmm. on it. Like, yo, make sure you get Biden. Right, like, you right. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's it's all promotion, and I it's, get it. It's like it's, it's that's like suggestive selling when you go to a restaurant. They're like, you, you guys want dessert? And you're like, right. Oh, yeah, all right. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just a guy that always looks at flips both sides of the yeah. coin. I don't yeah. just look at the thing at hand. I like to look at, all right, another way. If you look at majority, and again, like I said, there's decent people on both sides. I'm not here to be loyal to no politics or sound good or make sure I don't hurt nobody's feelings. I'm here to make sure I don't hurt God's feelings. Feel me? Mm, so right. on one side, you see all the people that follow one president. The majority of them is people that's not going the way towards our Lord and Savior. I didn't say people that don't have our Lord and Savior. You could be whatever and still believe Christ is Lord and he'll carry through it. But on one side, you see a bunch of people who are for, let's be transgenders. Again, I'm not against the person. We don't fight against flesh and blood. But what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. I do wrong every day, even wrong that I don't know of. Just because right. I'm a sinful man. Paul right. said the things I want to do in practice, I find myself not doing. And the things I don't want to do, I find myself practicing. So right. at the end of the day, this is not a... You know, you got the kind of person that, uh, you know, they feel like since I, I slipped in a certain sin, I can't no longer tell you this is right or this is wrong. But no matter what, God's standard is always the standard. You're right. never going to be. And if you are more power to you, but perfect in the sense of Christ, you're never going to be there. So to call somebody a hypocrite because they like, yo, bro, I don't think God going to like that. Yeah, but you was just doing this. You missed the point. That's not wise. I smoke cigarettes and I got lung cancer, God forbid. And you see me smoking a cigarette and I'm like, yo, shorty, I wouldn't smoke that if I was you. Yeah, right. it looks bad that I'm still smoking it. But the evidence is regardless if I'm smoking it or not, I got lung cancer. So right. are you going to be petty and go, well, you smoking cigarettes. So what you going to say to me? Or are you, it's all motives. Why? Righteous judgment. You know what I'm saying? So on one side, it's the people who we want to have the authority over life. You don't have no say so to say what I choose for myself. This is what I choose. And rightfully, we know who's the principality of this world. You have that right. But on the other side of things, you have a guy who's very arrogant. <laughs> All he knows is money. Yeah. You feel me? But this is also a guy who doesn't care to follow the rules. 
And mm-hmm. God is not in the business. Again, God has made many people president, Bush, all kind of people. Right. My thing is, God is not in the business of having to talk to a second party or third party in order to get you to follow swoop. Mm-hmm. You understand? So I'm not going to ha- and especially in a time like now, we could say Obama was president. This was president. I think everything works out the way God will have it to work out. So even if Biden get in office, we know there's some prophecy being fulfilled because even reading Matthew Mm. 24, yes, throughout all mankind, it's probably always been gays, always been this after Adam and Eve, all that. But if you read them words and look at the time we in now and everybody calling good, evil and evil good back then, you look at a magazine with bras and panties. It was just that. Now you see them on the female. Now, like everything is just muddying up. Yeah. If you a straight man, you better be that way and be quiet and keep your head down. Because this, yeah, we all homos around here. This is what we do. <laughs> and if you got a problem with it, I'm not anti-gay either. I'm just right. saying uh, everything right. is turning into being anti-God. Everything. Yeah, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thanks, you, I, Cuomo, I think Cuomo... And y'all could quote me on it. I think he's very divisive. Very divisive. Uh, uh, I think York? they brothers. The one that be on, uh, you know, on oh, CNN. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's Chris, his man. Very divisive. Chris Cuomo and... Uh, <laughs> what's, what's the, the, what's the mayor's Andrew? name? No, Andrew. Andrew. Oh, he's the governor. Andrew. Excuse me. Yeah, so you watch the brothers go, yeah, guys, you know, uh, we're going to get through this. Us. We don't need help from above. Need God, yeah. 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 yeah this is the party, though, that... That's that's that blue. That's the blue party, though. Yeah. It's a, it's a but now we can say yeah. You know Trump, he's just doing that to gain votes, right? Let's just say that again. Like I said, regardless what is the what, America is a stage for the world. Mm. How you think they gonna look at your president? One as controversial as him, and the only thing that makes him controversial is that he doesn't play by the rules. Mm. <laughs> So now everybody's watching him. He could have said Allah. He could have said, yo, it's in our ancestors. It's our ancestors. <laughs> he could have said anything. He said, I'm not the most famous guy. Jesus Christ is. Mm-hmm. Jesus. He, I'm just saying, you could play the, the religious card if you want to get votes. Cool. What I'm saying is in a time like now, Satan not going to cast out Satan. Mm-hmm. And to hear him yell Jesus on the world stage, you going against people. You know the times we in right now? And Maybe one Jay, side is not even now. saying our Lord and Savior name? <laughs> Jay is happy. I, 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 Jay's I, I happy because his vote. I, <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> no, no, I got a counter. I got a counter. Nah, huh? so, um, yeah, Trump did say that. But somebody also asked him in an interview, have you ever asked God for forgiveness? And he was like, no, I never asked God. Well, for let, me, let me add on that. Know? Somebody yeah. misconstrued that, too, because what he was saying was, I don't like to live my life in a way where I have to repent. Now we now listen, you got stone cold hardcore Christians like myself, and you got God like not for nothing, it ain't hard to tell. I don't think Trump is in his Bible, to be honest with you. Right. Yeah. We right. may never know. Right. Trump didn't come into office to be a preacher or a pastor. Right, but right. we may never know. He yeah. didn't say oh, I'm perfect, or I don't need no forgiveness. What he said was, and you could play it over, because I, I spoke to somebody about that in the comments on YouTube before, too. <laughs> oh, he says he doesn't have to repent. He didn't say that. He said, I don't like to live my life in a way where I have to repent. Oh, you that's be in the different. comments, Will? You be in the comments? You yeah, know? sometimes. I feel like <laughs> it's my duty sometimes. And it wasn't he trolls. You like to feed trolls, huh? I'm going to tell you, man. You ain't got a burner case. account, though, right? You go right, from your account, account right? Yeah. Well, you might see William Cater with the microphone. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, bro. Growing up, one thing I really, really, really disliked was bullies and instigators. And I feel like there's a lot of miscommunication and misinformation. You can yeah. say what you want about Trump. Let's say he's not the greatest guy. You're innocent until proven guilty. And what I mean by when it goes to policies, all of us sin every day. Let's not forget that. So whether he's like, yeah, you know, respect you, president. All of this extra stuff, right? Right. You got to look at his actions. You got one side 
being prophesied over, whether it's a show or not, you're innocent until proven guilty. One side saying Jesus Christ and people come up and speak for him. They speak him for, for, for Christ to the world in a time like now, COVID and all of this stuff, it all has to be ordained by God. Whether if somebody patented it before it came out, all of this stuff, God still foresaw the, all of this stuff. And then you got one side that says, it's not God. God didn't bring down COVID numbers. We did it. This goes to show you they not even atheists. They believe God is real. <laughs> but they don't want them. And they don't want you to want them. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah.